Number 15. Indicate the most important type of intermolecular attraction responsible for solvation in each of the following solutions. And then we have the polar halocarbon CF2Cl2, which is dissolved in the polar halocarbon CF2Cl, CFCl2. Okay, so basically we want to know that when these two compounds, these two polar compounds get dissolved within each other, right? Uh, when the solvent solvates uh, the solute, say that 15 times fast, right? Um, what type of interactions is the most important one? And specifically, what type of intermolecular attraction is the most important one? Now, this all just comes down to knowing what types of compounds are in question. So in this case, we have CF2, Cl2, and they gave us a little bit of a hint. They told us that this was a polar molecule. So I don't even have to draw this out, right? Generally speaking, if they don't tell us any information about what a molecule is, I would draw the Lewis structure out just to see whether it's nonpolar or polar. And then I would use, you know, use your acronym SNAP. But they already told us that these molecules are polar, so we don't really have to do that step. And then the same thing for the other one, CF2Cl, CFCl2, they said that this was polar as well. Now, the most important type of intermolecular attraction is always going to be the strongest intermolecular force, so the strongest force that the molecules have in common. So the question is, what intermolecular force do these two molecules have? Well, I wrote down the list of the three intermolecular forces that you should know. Dispersion, which also can be London forces or Van der Waal forces. Um, you have dispersion forces, which are the weakest. And then dipole-dipole attractions. And then the most specific and the strongest intermolecular force would be hydrogen bonding. So the way I wrote this was from weakest to the strongest intermolecular force. Now, all molecules, doesn't matter what you have, all molecules have dispersion forces. They're the weakest and um, generally speaking, if you do have other intermolecular forces, those are always going to predominate. Those are going to always be more important because they're stronger. So I'm just going to write down for both of these molecules, you have dispersion forces. So dispersion, dispersion, that's like the gimme. So now we go on to the next one. Does or do these molecules have dipole-dipole attractions? Well, the criteria for this is that only polar molecules have these types of attractions, mainly because if you have a dipole, that means that you have an unequal distribution of electrons somewhere in your molecules. But they did say that we were polar. So for both of these, we have dipole-dipole attractions. So now these molecules have two different intermolecular forces. They got dispersion forces and they got dipole-dipole. But now the question is, do they have hydrogen bonding? Well, hydrogen bonding is the strongest but the most selective. These molecules have to have a hydrogen. Obviously, it's called hydrogen bonding, but you have to have that hydrogen bound to a nitrogen or an oxygen or a fluorine. Over here, I don't have any hydrogens, and neither for this one either. So no hydrogen bonding for both of these. We've exhausted all of our possible intermolecular attractions or intermolecular forces. The most important type is the strongest force that the molecules have in common. So they got dispersion and dipole in common. But which one is the stronger one? Yeah, you got it. The dipole is the more powerful intermolecular force, the strongest one and the, the common one between them. So the most important type would be the dipole-dipole attraction or the dipole-dipole uh, interaction or the dipole-dipole force. The idea here is that you just have to have the word dipole-dipole. So I'll say dipole-dipole attraction. 
And that is the answer. Let's box it off. And we are done. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I really hope this helped you out. Uh, let me know in the comments. I love helping you guys out with all your chemistry uh, needs. Um, and yeah, uh, thank you so much. Thank you for being part of the community. And we're here for you guys every step of the way. All right. So we have a whole chemistry course just for you. We got physics and math courses as well. So go check the channel out. Um, thank you. And I will talk to you soon. I hope you have a great day. Okay. All right. Bye-bye.